hand to convince you that yes, indeed, this case will be charged by the Van de Graaff, provided there is contact here. And we'll see that, yes, Marcos, give me the full blast. Let's just look at the tinsel. You see this tinsel clearly indicates like an electroscope that I'm being charged now. So I'll jump off if you can discharge. Then I will go inside. I will have the tinsel with me. So I will show you that inside there, when they charge that cage, that the tinsels will not spread out. And I will bring with me this wonderful radio and I didn't plan that, believe me. I'll first go in without any charge. So don't do anything. Nothing. I'm shielded. However, there is a problem. You can still hear me. And I'm wearing a transmitter. And the receiver is somewhere outside this box. So why can you still hear me? That means that the kind of radio waves that I am transmitting, a very high frequency, it's not a static field, so somehow they can get through. So the shielding is not perfect for fast changing electric fields. But it's good enough for AM radios. So now I'll go in and I'll try to be brave. And he's going to try to zap me now, to electrocute me. But since I've taken 802, I'm not afraid. I bumped my head, that's a different story. Okay, Marcos, do the best you can. Here are the tinsels. Running up, 100,000 volts, 200,000 volts. I feel as happy like a clam at high tide inside here. <laughs> Nothing is happening. I'm not worried at all. If lightning were to strike me, who cares? I'm in a Faraday cage. Not going to spoil my weekend. I can touch the inside. There's no charge anywhere here. My weekend won't be spoiled. And I hope that the new assignment is not going to spoil yours either. See you next Tuesday.